Welcome back to Tabletop Titans and another Titan Tactics. Warhammer 40k has had rules for small scale games for a number of years now, but there's always been some issue for it because ultimately the game is not designed for that point scale. And so today we're going to be looking at the boarding actions, which might just be the best way to play these small scale games that we've ever seen. Let's take a look. Of course, if you do enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and ding that bell so you can get notified of all of our latest videos. At its core, Boarding Actions is still Warhammer 40,000. All they've done is they've simplified certain things, reduced the context, reduced the scope, and designed certain elements of it to, to fit perfectly the board size and the point size. So there's a number of extra rules let's talk about first. So first off, the terrain has had some interesting changes to adapt to these small scale Warhammer games. Uh, first of all, the game is completely two dimensional, so there's no vertical movement. You can't see over walls or jump over walls. Uh, fly is very limited, basically not in the game at all. Uh, and so this is gonna help reduce the killing ability um, in boarding actions. Traditionally, with these small-scale games, you're going to have either a very open board or a very closed board, and one's going to skew armies one way or the other, but this just kind of sets the premise and helps reduce that scope and design it perfectly for 500 points. Additionally, you're going to see a lot of things like the barricade-style rules, where you can be engagement if you're within an inch of a, of a door that someone else is within an inch of, uh, things that kind of just make it simpler and easier to interact with, which I think is fantastic. The stratagems also do see a full rework. You're not allowed to use any core or codex stratagems at all, Instead, they provided you with several new stratagems that are designed uh, specifically for boarding actions. This is kind of necessary as, again, a lot of the stratagems are designed at a bigger scale of not only command points, but also just killing ability. Arms are, armies are smaller, so this makes a lot of sense. The mission rules are probably some of the more changed aspects of the game. Things are different, such as deployment, where you have your entry zones, uh, where you actually come onto the battlefield, uh, and the fact that you hold objectives within one inch rather than three. So kind of core changes to the game that just have it better suited towards this scale. Even army construction has been adapted to these small scale games. You can have one HQ, up to three troops, and up to three elites. Uh, again, smaller scale, limited interactions, nobody needs a battle wagon coming through the corridors just killing everything, right? Uh, so obviously you can't take those big monsters and vehicles, things like that. Uh, and again, it's all about reducing scope, making it manageable, and making sure that everyone's playing within the same agreed set of rules. But again, as mentioned, despite these changes, it is Warhammer 40k at its core, which also makes it an interesting starting point when learning the game. The reduced scope, the reduced points, the reduced stratagems, all that stuff is going to mean you can learn the game of Warhammer 40k, but in a much more limited context. So I think that's something that's worth mentioning and uh, is honestly a huge boon to the boarding action mode. So overall, why is boarding actions the best way to play small scale 40k? First off, the terrain is adapted to it. Limited line of sight, limited mobility is absolutely key here. Additionally, stratagems have also been reduced in scope so that they're only going to be designed and balanced specifically for these 500 point games. Mission rules also drastically different than the current uh, than the current format, uh, limiting deployment as well as shrinking down some of the engagement rules to make it more compatible with the small scale. And last of all, of course, the restrictions on list building, very important. While we know you want to play with your big toys, that is meant for the big large scale games in the same way that Titans are meant for apocalypse style games. So I think good choices on restricting army builds. And look, we're all looking for that extra excuse to start a new army. This is it, just 500 points. This is the gateway drug to your new army for full games of Warhammer 40,000. Overall, we're very excited about the new boarding actions rules. Let us know in the comments below what you think about it, what you're most excited about. Is there anything they haven't solved for yet? And uh, overall, let us know what you think. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys next time on the tabletop. Bye-bye.